Hey, this is Jeff Wadlow, writer and director of Kick-Ass 2, and we are watching the alternate opening for the movie. The reason why we had a different opening initially is there was a lot of debate about how to begin this movie. It basically stemmed from the fact that four years had passed since they had made Kick-Ass 1, but in the comic book, Kick-Ass 2 begins the day after the events of Kick-Ass 1. So we had to try to figure out what have Dave and Mindy been doing for the last four years and why are we telling our story now? Initially, I had the idea that Dave had been uh, patrolling and doing his thing as kick-ass, but not really taking that seriously and doing it all on his own, which leads to situations like this where he's just getting his ass kicked because uh, if you're going to be a superhero in the real world, bad things are going to happen, and, and clearly Dave still has not learned that lesson yet from the first film. I thought it'd be kind of fun to have this sort of shocking violent scene begin the movie to remind the audience of the kind of world that this film takes place in. Ultimately, I think <laughs> blowing our lead character's face off in the opening scene proved to be a little disconcerting for the audience. And again, it raised issues of, like, why are we telling this story now if Dave has been wearing the suit all this time? And so in post, I kind of came up with the idea, well, maybe he hasn't. You know, maybe he's taken the last four years off while the movement has spread. Uh, he's been sort of stuck on the sidelines. And then it really kind of all lined up very quickly because it became just about the newscast being the inciting incident and not needing this dream where he actually gets his face blown off. Although I did like how the blood sort of splattered on that title. I thought it was evocative of what Matthew did so well in the first film with the reveal of the license plate for the title. But ultimately, it was better for the story to go with this new idea. One of the casualties is that we lost the scene with Dave in bed with Katie, which I kind of liked because it set up that he was still with Katie, but that they weren't really connecting. Their relationship had kind of gone off the rails. Please, Mindy. Look, Dave. Well, you're walking around a wetsuit trying to live out some... Action. Another benefit of restructuring the beginning of the movie the way we did was that initially I was going for this conflict between Dave and Mindy that he was still being kick-ass but not taking it seriously, but she was training as hit girl and that she was taking it seriously. So there was this sort of disdain that she felt for him. But once we got rid of this idea, it didn't really make sense that she would have any disdain for him. She considers him like a brother and they had just gone through this thing together a few years ago where they saved each other's lives. So if he had given up being kick-ass and was sort of stuck on the sidelines, she would just really think of him as an older brother. So when we reshot this scene in the back of the cab, it gave us the opportunity to kind of recalibrate their relationship, keeping that in mind. Although I do love both their performances in this scene. It's a date. 